So a while ago, about four months ago, I made a video about how to make the easiest redstone shop design. And while that is still the easiest one I've made, this one is a little bit better. See, it's a little bit more complicated, but the, what's nice about this one is that before you can only give one item, and you cannot get multiple of the item. You can only give one item. This one you can give whatever you can fill in this hopper. And so let me just show it off real quick. So if I were to put in some diamonds here, then it'll take two diamonds and then give me a stone stone. Then give me a diamond sword. And then I won't take any more. And then this one, if I put in six diamonds, then it will give me three diamond swords. Just like that. And another nice thing about this shop is that the last one was not one block tileable. Originally I thought it was, but then I tested it and it wasn't. But this one is one block tileable. Okay, so to make one cell Place down first a hopper, then a barrel on top of that, with a comparator going out of the hopper, and then four redstone coming out of here, then a target block, then a redstone torch, block above the redstone, block above the redstone torch, and then blocks going all the way, four blocks going here, and then a hopper going into this barrel, then a then a block on top of the barrel, and you don't have to use wool; you can use whatever solid block you want. And then alternating um, pattern, you're going to use um, redstone repeaters and redstone dust. And that is actually pretty much it. It's very simple, as like I said. So to make it work, then first fill up the hopper with this. I recommend with any any item. I recommend renaming the item so that people can't buy stuff with stone. But for now, it's fine for now. I recommend just like you know anvil and renaming stuff. Then put, in a, then put in a stack of what you want to be your currency. I'm using diamonds because, you know, diamonds. And then take out how much you want to cost. So let's say we're doing a diamond sword. So we'll t and we want that to toss, cost two diamonds. So we take out two diamonds. And so we have 62 left. So now we put the diamond sword in here. And so hopefully if we put two diamonds in here, it will give us a diamond sword. Now if you want to make this tileable, I'll make a three cell one. I'll make it very similarly right here. Target block, target block, right on torch, block above them. Da da da. I forgot to place these barrels. Hopper going into the barrels of blocks on top of the hopper. So how to make it one block tileable is you do not do this. This will not work. As you can see, it's lining them all up. What you actually want to do is do reversed like this and then right here you're going to do this if that makes sense because that way none of this redstone can power these redstones so let's just say you're going to buy five stacks of emeralds for like 16 diamonds or something so what you will do is once again fill these barrels up like that and then put in your stack of diamonds there then take out 16 because I want to cost 16. No, stop filling up with emeralds. Oh, I did this wrong. You're sw okay. Um, you have to um get the currency first here, and then you can put the item in. So I want to cost 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There. And now I can put my emeralds in, and they won't go. So now, if I put a stack of diamonds in here, it'll only take 16. And then it will start depositing the five stacks of emeralds, which could take a while. And so, yeah, that is how you can make a super easy redstone shop. Now, my other one is easier, but this one's better for two reasons. One, you can do as many things. You can do up to five stacks of items, and also it's one block tileable. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was useful.